Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beer. So today we're watching. So today we're jumping back into Invincible Season 1, Episode 3. Who are you calling ugly? Let's get it going. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey. Hmm. Oh my god, the Guardians of the Globe, of course. Of course. Bruh. Oh, all the superheroes are coming. Oh, <gasps> uh, Omni-Man's flying with them. He shouldn't be here. This is fucked up. Saboteur. I fought the unimaginable in defense of this world. But no matter what threat I faced, I knew I wasn't facing it alone. Darkwing, Green Ghost, Red Rush, Martian Man, Immortal, the Guardians of the Globe. Today, who will save us now? I will. And so will others like me. New heroes answering the call. Have faith. And look to the sky. That was a hard speech. That was actually a really good speech. The big one's for show, but the public can't know where the actual bodies are buried. Souvenir hunters. Jesus. Wow! Oh. A guardian of the globe. Disgusting. But it was the guardians who welcomed me when I first arrived on this planet. Okay, so they're here before you. Wow. I hope they will rest in peace. But at least they will rest together. You saw to that. Your hand, Joseph, is finally standing still, and I still can't see him. Yeah. That's a fucked up metaphor. I, I could have been my mom, his face, putting my dad in one of those holes, or me. This could happen to the Guardians of the Globe. It means that none of us are. <laughs> That's great. That's great. The way they did that. Coming for you. Never get invited. Show up anyway. What do you <laughs> don't pretend you do this because you That's care. That's pretty cool. You just don't want to go home. Maybe one day you'll know why. I already told Cecil everything I know. That's fucked. Saw so nothing. If you remember something, I'll call you. Let's get you in a car, Olga. I know you've always been independent. But I want you to come work for the GDA and build me a new Guardians of the Globe. And build you'll me. pick the team. You'll be in charge. He helps out, yeah, but he's never taken orders. Not from me, anyway. Then I don't know what to say. Not Easy. from you, anyway. So do it. What is that? Who was he taking orders from? Right. And who told him to get rid of the Guardians? God damn it. Right. I'm feeling pizza. I can be to Naples and back before the cheese stops bubbling. Honey, <sighs> let the delivery guy do it tonight. Feeling no remorse, bro. I'm feeling pizza. Yeah, that's what he's feeling. Defeated nightmares from the deep. Save us now. Why don't you call William? And do what? Hang out? Go buy comic books? After this? Hey, watch the tone. What happens out there? The mistakes, even the victories. You can't bring it home. Okay. We just came from your friend's funeral. Co-workers. <clears throat> and you're talking about pizza and telling Mark not to feel anything? This is the life. Mark has to learn that. I'm not so easy to kill. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's what Red Rush so told us. Hey, he could run easy. fast, okay? It's not exactly one of your premier superpowers. Bruh. I'm Insensitivity. Sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh, they break more easily than you think. And I don't want a broken family. <laughs> oh, the way it's sitting there. <laughs> Hello, Grace, Grayson, Mark Grayson. Who? Mark, from school. I was wondering if you were gonna call. Don't you mean when? Nah, I can think of a few reasons for if. I came on too strong. You've got a girlfriend. <laughs> I think you're amazing. That's why I'm calling to tell you that. I, I, I mean, I, that's not why I'm 
calling. Not that that's not true. <laughs> now you're coming on strong. Sorry. Hey, handsome Mark Grayson. What's going on? <laughs> uh, I was thinking finals are coming up and we're both in Miss Walker's global issues class. A study date <laughs> works for me. When and where? Hey. Oh, and they show Eve right after, <laughs> right? Their hero locker room is hilarious. I thought you were at the funeral. I was. <gasps> I'd say you should have been there, but it's pretty bleak. She's with Rex. I think so. Rex? Eve, hang on a second. You piece of shit! Babe, wait, hang on! I knew there was a reason you skipped the funeral. Just, just... Are you kidding me, Kate? I, I can't believe this. Rex said you're dating Invincible now. Said that you guys talked about it. What? Oh, don't give me that. It's true. What did you expect, huh? I guess I was wrong about Bruh. both of you. Bruh. They're not even I mean, the real Kate. I wonder if they all feel the same thing. We're all the real Kate. Okay, I, I didn't. That's technically not what I. They Bro, you lost every girl in one shot. It's the crowning okay. achievement of any crusader's career to be selected for the new Guardians of the Globe. Which makes me wonder again why you won't try out. Hmm. Oh, I talked it over with my dad. Hmm. And the Guardians this is going to be crazy. More than a group of heroes. Training session. They were icons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, cool. What's up with Ooh. her? No idea. <laughs> Those of you who extra, extra up to the man. challenge, but by the uniqueness of your tactics, your adaptability. She gets small? Yeah. Most importantly, the strength of your character and spirit. Wow. That is what truly makes a hero. Let's oh. see them. Shrinking. Black Black Samson. Samson. Duplicate. Monster Girl. Monster. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's adorable. I don't know. You're here. Isn't there a dick size requirement? I'm sorry. Oh. For what? Your tiny dick? I mean, have you been strutting around here? <laughs> Somebody ought to teach you some motherfucking what's up. Oh, shit. Guess you missed my tryout. She's the Hulk She's looking the girl. Hulk. Still think I'm adorable. You look like a bitch. Now that's adorable. I'm gonna oh my that God. smile off your stupid green face. Is this okay? He asked for it. Okay, enough. Get lost, Boy Scout. I said enough. Bruh, knocked you back. Now he knocked her back into a little girl. Right. The kid thing sets me off every time, and then it's like rah, beast mode. <laughs> about the dick joke. I'm sure your junk is awesome. <laughs> it's fine. Saying, <laughs> "Welcome to the Guardians of the Globe, Monster Girl." Gonna ship blood. Oh my god. Once he's recovered. And our final member, Adam B. Ooh. I can't be on the same team as Rex and Kate. What? Why? Hey, oh, wait. Man. Rex, what did you do? Hey, what's going on? Rex cheated on me. What? With Duplicate, all three of her. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so. Whoa. What an asshole. He wasn't always, but yeah. <sighs> well, hmm. Hmm. I wonder what changed. Right. I'm sorry. We'll be moving into the Guardian's headquarters. Until nice. then, we'll be training here. Breakfast is at 6 a.m., then close-in combat exercises until lunch. There is no universe in which I wake up at 6 a.m. and the world isn't on fire. Come on, robot. We don't need this boot camp bullshit. Wow. I don't know you yet. 
So I'm gonna assume that was a joke, and I don't need to beat your ass until all you wanna do is call me dad again. I'm new to this whole team thing, but I thought it involved teamwork. As did I. <sighs> call me when you figure it out. I'll be in the gym. Whenever I transform, I get younger. <gasps> it's part of the curse that gives me my powers. I don't look it, but I'm 24 years old. If you don't want to start changing my diapers, three exercises a day are too much for me. I didn't... Bruh. Of course. My apologies. The guys who are interested are either going through puberty or popping up on sex offender registries. I understand what it's like oh, for the my world to gosh. look you and see one thing, never knowing the truth of what's inside. Wow. You want Toss this. Whoop. Stop. Hey! Being a geek is cool now, okay? So maybe Amber likes comics too. You thought of that? I'm talking about the dirty clothes, the dishes, the tissues. Uh. Okay. <laughs> brought you some homework. It's just a study date. About I read her fly. Work every date should feel like a first date. Wow. Wow. That's the easiest way. <laughs> Or oh. toss it into space like he did with the garbage oh from work. Oh my gosh. Oh! That's Zazzy Beats! Okay, that makes sense. I was hearing the voice, I was like... Honest man. I like that. So, you're into comics? Is it that obvious? <laughs> What's your favorite? I'm of the ocean. And this one is about a Jack Russell Terrier who's a master of the metaphysical arts. <laughs> the seance dog. <laughs> You mind if I borrow? <laughs> I mean, just to show you that I'm interested. Yeah. Uh oh. It's Eve. Okay. I figured we should start with global issues and then move. Sorry. <laughs> must be a robocall. <laughs> it must be. Focus on the. Um... I'm gonna run and use your bathroom while you deal with that. Whoa! Whoa! Christ almighty, I didn't think she would ever leave. Wow. Hey, oh, what are you... How did you Bruh. know Amber... Are you spying on what? me? Oh, you want to be a superhero, Yeah, he has that right? ability, Fame, right? glory, That's get the crazy, pretty gal? Yeah. Yes, I want to help. I thought he had a machine. What's the problem? I don't know, he just did it Rogue himself. Rogue supervillain. ridiculous. Public in danger, Eve's already en route. Here, so we can talk on the go. Eve's gonna be there? Or did that just sweeten the deal? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Oh, um, yeah, that the thing with the the phone. It um, it was a friend of my dad's, and ah, oh, I forgot. I promised I'd help him with this thing. <coughs> you know where Mount Rushmore is, Cecil? I wouldn't be asking for your help, but Omni Man is dealing with a kaiju ten time zones away, and the new Guardians are a shit ten show. Time so zones. here we are. Kaiju Groot. Working theory says brain <laughs> side effect can... of those gloves. Oh, Basically, shit. he gets a concussion every time he uses them. Oh my gosh. Pretty much. You come to pray at this obscene monument? They were oppressors, racists, slave owners. I give you a new god. This way. He ain't lying. What'd you say? He ain't lying. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. <clears throat> That's how you get ahead in life. See, it's not quite there. It's not there. <laughs> we need to take out his gloves. Those aren't gloves. Gloves have fingers. They're more uh, earthquake bracelets. Earthquake bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> earthquake bracelets. <laughs> oh my God. He's just bouncing. Just click him together. Oh. That is crazy. I mean, look at the costume they've got. You in talk about pandering to gender roles. And I thought your doctor was in seismology. Undergrad in sociology and women's studies. I had a minor in African dance. But enough! <laughs> <laughs> in <the> African dance! <laughs> Break out some African dance, not seismic. Wow, lava oh all my under there. Gosh, lava. <laughs> Floor is lava under there. Oh shit! No! Oh! Oh! My God, you lost. She hit the bracelets. Oh! 
Oh no, that her malfunction. I got you. He's slipping. Ah, oh, god damn it. I should have spent more time working on the jet. Oh. Oh. Okay. What? What? Oh my gosh. Wow. That. That was insane. Wow, that guy is toast. Oh, I see. So like none of these sound good, huh? <laughs> oh. You're welcome. Yo, Eve is sick with the powers, man. Whoa, slow down. But He's proud of him. He's proud of him. Superhero, Mark. You're a Viltrumite. Mm. We have responsibilities mm -hmm. that normal humans mm -hmm. don't. You gotta Bruh. go. Gotta go. Right. Yeah. You might want to change. Oh, crap. Dad, you got a little. <gasps> I've been sitting here for an hour. I know. Uh, oh, that's a good one. What'd you, what'd you think? Why did you even agree to hang out if you weren't gonna hang out? Oh, okay then. Why did you come? You didn't even know I existed until I stood up to Todd. For the Ooh. record, Todd kicked your ass. Twice. <laughs> wow. You know the kind of guy that would do that. Wow. Idiot. <laughs> Maybe. I finished all the review questions while you were off saving the world or whatever. It's big, sir. Babe. First time I've seen Omni-Man on the ropes like that. Also, it might not be dead. Oh, no. Put it on ice. You never know when something like that might come in handy. Yes, sir. Bruh. Did you call Cecil about putting some protection on the house? I was kind of busy. No, Lynn. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I sold a house today that had a double homicide. What? I told them lightning never strikes twice. Oh my god. I'm seriously gonna put that on the grill. <laughs> Bruh. I don't know how I feel. You see the picture of him in her suit? I've been waiting. I didn't see it. I didn't know that. Oh, it's yeah. him. Yeah. I know I love you. I know. But that wasn't an apology, Rex. Mm -mm. You're right. Literally. I'm sorry. Good luck with the new team, Rex. Give me a do over just this one time. It's because you did it just this one time that you don't get a do over. Oh no. She didn't see the girl. <gasps> Ooh, that's why he had to rush home. <sighs> Things they have. Ooh, he's like duplicate. Oh, that's sick. Oh, oh my, my god. Ciao time. Wow, I'm starving. You know the drill. <gasps> it's our boys. The Mother Twins. Chicken pot pie. Everybody. Stay back from the door. <gasps> Oh, oh shit. They need his hand. Damn it. Chicken, chicken pot. pot. <laughs> Watch him. Say it. You no. cheap, genetically inferior knockoff. Say it. Or stay here forever. Oh man. Is there going to have an effect? Look at these guys, boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What now? I'm surprised you don't see it. You being the original and all. Oh! 
Oh my gosh, you're not using him like a shield, bro. <gasps> He didn't mention they they grow things I'd back. I'll miss you, brother. But I can always make another one. Oh, oh. make another one, okay. Bro, that was crazy. Oh, that robot? Yeah, that is. Give me an update. You get my team ready for the deep end yet? Oh, we still have work to do. But I feel confident in the progress we've made today. Is this training for them? Like Demon dark blood. Oh yeah, she cold. How'd you know? As soon as she froze and she didn't see anything. I screen froze up. Ooh. What are you hot. doing in my house? Seeking information, clues, answers. I don't he know has to get you're in. talking about. You need to leave now. Seven dead, one alive. He needs to. Your husband was hoping you could make that piece fit. Yeah. Escape from hell. Seek justice for others to save own soul. Wow. Husband, don't That's you crazy. Not a... No, he didn't see anything. Mm. You have a lovely home. Debbie? You alright? I was just coming to bed. No, but the thing is, now he knows his wife's list. Oh! oh! He knows his wife is Lear. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Don't murk your own wife, bruh. Oh, the wife is Sandra. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> it's done that pass so fast. They're not, oh, I. they're not all the same length. Some oh, of them are like okay. 50 I'll... minutes, some of them are like 39. Gotcha. So yeah, this one was shorter. 40. Yo. Babe. So Eve saw thing and thing. Eve saw invincible and Amber. And Amber, yeah. She felt she felt heartbroken still. She saw some shit this episode, right? Yeah, she did. She walked in on the menage cat with Mar fucking yeah. menage Kate. You know what I'm saying? Menage Kate, yes. Like she then she saw then she like seeking solace from that relationship. She goes to the next eligible bachelor. And he's, you know what I'm saying? He just put his foot in the pool. You know what I'm saying? With Amber. Then you have, like, obviously the, the Doc Seismic was, was hilarious. Oh that they, like He kind of looked like Elmer Fudd with, a, with, with, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just a different ideology, right? And a better, and, and better, uh, what do you call it? Not vocation. Uh... Better pronunciation. He just sounded, he looked like an Elmer Fudd character with better pronunciation, to be honest with you. Oh but gosh. everything he was saying was kind of true. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like, robot. What's up with that? Opening up the thing for the Mahler twins. So that's the thing that's crazy about that, right? Like, you saw that Nolan, not Nolan, you saw that Cecil, mm -hmm. he controls the good guys and the bad and guys. And the bad guys, apparently. And then when Omni Man messed up the kaiju, the man said, "Yo, let's hold on to that. If it is still alive, let's hold on to that. We can deploy that at a later time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can keep it handy for like we creating the next. You know what I'm saying? Like, world disaster that the guardians GDA of the has globe to take. exactly have to freaking attack." So, okay, GDA is a global defense agency, right? And they control the heroes and they also can control the bad guys. So now what my thinking is, is so Robot and Cecil work together. Mm -hmm. And he said, you, I, you're the only person you'll take orders from, which yeah. means that Robot was acting out the own. plan that was a plan that was Cecil's, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. And, and that makes sense. Because he had already let you know that he has bad guys that he would readily let loose by capturing the kaiju, right? Exactly. So Cecil and Robot, so it's not Robot acting behind Cecil's back. No. I think they're working in cahoots. Yeah, that makes For perfect sure. sense because they both showed you, one of them said it, one of them actually did it. So it shows you that they're on the same page. But the thing is, I, I'm wondering if like the Global Defense Agency, right? So let's say... 
do you eliminate one world threat? Okay. So for example, like when what Omni Man did to the Flaxons, I'm not worried about the Flaxons coming back for some time now. You know what I'm saying? So and the thing is, I mean, he kind of eliminated, eliminated the threat because when he went to their planet, he, he pretty destroyed much destroyed it. it. You know what right. I'm saying? So they're worried about re they're worried about finding or rebuilding a planet more than they are about coming to conquer yours. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of eliminated that threat. But I wonder if the GDA, because they probably, I mean, like if you are literally protect, pr protecting us from existential threats that we can't even fathom yet you know what i'm saying then for sure you guys are getting like a blank check from the government like it's not even like oh we need four billion to build such and such like we god knows what kind of army is coming from what planet with what kind of artillery we need to have a blank check so that whenever we need anything we it is go. right there at our That's fingertips it. so i'm thinking that maybe Cecil, because would simply you know what i'm saying like Yo, um, we haven't really, we haven't really had a threat in six months. Christmas is coming around. You know what I'm saying? I want to make oh, sure like the grandkids just are good. Random Yo, threats. drop a drop a quick kaiju downtown Let China. Let the people know they need us. Gotcha. Because why? Why else would you we be talking about? We need the donations. About, we need people to pull. Yeah. Why else would you be talking about? Let's keep it handy for later. Right. Isn't that a threat that was supposed to be I eliminated? I mean, that's what they do now, right? Isn't that a threat that's supposed to be eliminated? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why would you be keeping these things handy for later? You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly, like you said, like people, like all these viruses and things that they keep in a deep freeze that they say they keep for educational purposes, but every once in a while, you know, Somebody uh, some SARS out. slips out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, we just... Oh. Like, I, some I'm, Ebola I'm, here, some SARS there. That's it, right? H1N1 here. The thing is, Although there were, it wasn't overtly said, you saw that there was something building between him, her, and Invincible. You know what I'm saying? And now, because of the fact that she, he's, she saw him, but he didn't see her. Like, he can kind of go back to, like, being that uh -huh, shy guy around her. And then she's going to say something and he's going to be like, huh? What did you exactly. Oh, maybe you, you like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you like, um, I don't know, like maybe you like cocoa in your tea or something. Some some snazzy remark she says, and he's like, what? What, what was that? And you know what I'm saying? Some snide remark. Because that's the thing. Who knows? Like, like he, he almost blew it. You know what I'm saying? He almost blew it on the first shot. Because when An he hour. came back, she did not look happy, boy. An hour, bro. Duh. I, I'm surprised she even stuck around that long. It's true. But also, she, she, she didn't want to, she wanted to get her, that emotion out. You know what, sure. what I'm saying? But hey, it worked out for him. He is invincible. <laughs> but nah, man. Was there anything else crazy that happened this episode? <clears throat> you had the Mauler twins. Oh, the training for the Guardians of the Globe I thought was dope. Mm -hmm. I really, I'm really looking forward to, to Shrinking Ray. I didn't see what Black, Black Samson? Yeah, yeah, I didn't see what Black Samson's power is. I saw him hit that electric girl with that punch, but other than that, I'm not aware of what he can do. Well, whatever his suit can do, apparently. Cause uh, yeah, that's it. And they said powers. he lost his powers and he used to be with a member of the Guardians. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic because they'll have like little flashback scenes with this guy, maybe. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that's it. Because that's the thing. Like, we didn't even get the Guardians for an ep a full episode. So, like, we, we don't even know the extent of their stories. Like, they, they were literally the, the, the head guys and like a Game of Thrones. Like, you're on the DVD cover, episode eight, your head's coming off. It's like, bruh. Like, okay, so this guy's not the main character of the story. You know what I'm saying? They've Holy been around shit. way before what's Omni Man showed up. So if that was that was a crazy part of the story too because right. I thought that there that, that there was a conflict that stemmed from him being the globe soul protector and then these guys being the guardians of the globe. But I mean, obviously, um, this the story has many different pathways that uh, we have not been down yet, and only one way to get there. Thank you all for joining us for this latest episode of Invincible. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments and be sure to go over to our Patreon and check out the full length uncut reactions or simply to support our channel. I'm Shirley. And I'm Dre. For Beauty and the Beard, we're signing off until the next one. Peace.